Hi guys, these are the pansies that we started from seed a little over three weeks ago. I started these seeds using a combination of seed starting mix and potting soil. The potting soil that I used contains slow release fertilizer and so far I haven't had to fertilize the plants. At this point they're still looking really healthy and green. They have already spent a little bit of time outside but starting tomorrow, I am going to really get the ball rolling and start hardening them off. For anybody that doesn't know, whenever you start little seedlings in your house under grow lights, you do have to harden them off. Basically, what you're doing is gradually putting them outside every day, a little longer every day, so that they can acclimate to wind, sun, and just all the stresses of living outside. The first day you take your plants outside, you wanna put them in a really shady area, somewhere that's as sheltered as possible. And don't start your hardening off on a windy day. Your plants will probably get wind burnt. Anyway, so the first day you wanna leave them outside for a couple hours, bring them back inside, the next day, you might want to leave them outside for three hours. The next day, you might want to leave them outside for four or five hours. And you want to gradually start bringing them into a more open, sunnier area as the days go by. And then after a week or two of doing this, your plants will be ready to live outside full time. My frost-free season starts in early May. Pansies can handle a frost. So I plan on having these living outside full time, probably by the end of March, definitely by early April. Once I get these hardened off over the next week or two, they'll be outside all day long and then I'm gonna be bringing them inside at night because these are not established pansy plants that have spent all winter outside. I'm afraid it might be a little bit hard on them. In a lot of areas, pansies can overwinter outside if you plant them in the fall. But that's a little bit different because those pansies have gradually gotten used to all the elements outside and these are very young plants that are not established. So I don't wanna take that risk with them. The reason I want them spending their days outside right now is because I only have one four foot long shop light that I grow my plants under and I have to get some other stuff growing like my peppers and my cool weather crops. I'm gonna be potting these up into bigger containers today, but first I wanna kinda of show you how I've been growing these for the past few weeks. I'm gonna start with watering. Um, I bottom water a lot, but also if I'm in a hurry, I top water. Bottom watering is probably the best way to do it because you just pour your water in the tray, take out one of your little seed cells, pour your water in the tray, and the plants evenly soak up the water. You just get a more even watering that way. After 10 or 15 minutes, the water that's, if there's still water sitting in your tray, you wanna dump that out. A little over a week ago, I sowed some more pansy seeds, and this is what they look like when they first sprout up. They're very, very tiny. When they're really tiny like this, when you water them, it's best to use a spray bottle, something like this, this soil is already wet. These are watered, but just for demonstration purposes, just give them a little spritz like this. That's how I water most of my brand new teeny tiny seedlings. If you watched my first video on growing pansies from seed, you might remember that I planted three or four little seeds in each cell. I've kept them thinned out for the most part, but I keep getting these little pansies sprouting up here and there. You can just pull these right out of the soil. People say to cut them, and I do that if I have two plants right next to each other that are the same size. Because when you pull out a plant that's right next to another plant, and they're approximately the same size, you do run the risk of damaging the roots of the plant that's right next to it, or just accidentally pulling it out of the soil. But in cases like this, when you have a little bitty plant and a big plant growing in the same cell, you can pull out the little plant. It's not going to bother the big plant at all. Since my little plants are getting so big, I'm going to be potting these up like I said before. I'm planting them in these little plastic cups and I just put them in a stack and drill one hole right down the center. These are nine ounce cups. These plants don't need the full nine ounces, so I'm just going to fill them up probably two thirds of the way full 
This time I'm using a 50-50 mix of cocoa core and potting soil. And again, this is just regular miracle Grow potting soil that has the fertilizer already in it. I suspect I am going to have to fertilize these at some point, but right now they're looking healthy, so I'm not really concerned about it. Even when I'm just using seed starter mix, I probably only fertilize my plants with a, my little seedlings with a liquid fertilizer maybe once every couple of weeks. I know some people do it once a week. In my opinion, it's really just overkill. They don't need fertilize that much. You might disagree with me and that's fine. You know, you can fertilize once a week if you want to. Just keep in mind when you are fertilizing little seedlings, you do need to cut the amount of fertilizer you're using way, way down. I usually try to do about an eighth of the recommended fertilizer dosage. I've even burned my little seedlings a little bit by giving them a quarter of what the fertilizer package recommends. To plant these in the little cups, I'm basically just pushing the soil all along the edge of the cup, hollowing out a spot in the center, and then I'm just dropping in my little seedlings and filling it in with dirt. Now I'm going to water these and I am top watering them because I want this soil to settle down. I want all the little air pockets to be filled in. And that way, if I need to add any more soil in any of these cups, I can do that and fill that right in. And that's all for this video. I'm going to keep you guys updated on these. I'm going to take you through the whole process of growing these, planting them out in the garden and all the other stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.